Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, today we're going to work with Season Like Christmas and Watercolor Wash. These two stamp sets. It's Monday, so that means it's clean and simple. And I want to show you how you can take these two sets and make a card really quick. These would be adorable Christmas cards and fast. The Season Like Christmas stamp set is in the new holiday catalog that became available September 1st. Up in the top right hand corner and also in the description of this YouTube video are links that will take you directly to the blog post for this card with the measurements and the supplies that I used. And there will also be supplies linked in the bottom in the description. So I hope you guys are ready. We're going to get started and have some fun here. Let me, this is a three step tree. Actually it's four with the base. But it's super fast, so let's set this over here. Set our water, watercolor wash stamp over here. Here are the colors we're going to be using. We're using Soft Sky for the base. This is Old Olive and just some Whisper White, all right? So right off the bat, uh, I want to change it up just a smidge. So I'm going to run it horizontal, and I'm going to do a few more trees. As you can see, this greeting says, A special season like Christmas brings thoughts of special people like you and another one of the sayings is wishing you a beautiful Christmas season and a new year of peace and happiness what I love about this set though is that tree can be used for all kinds of winter scenes here's my uh, watercolor stamp it's another one of those large stamps so what I'm going to do is right off the bat I'm just going to grab my soft sky and I'm just going to ink it up real good Okay, so I've done that. Now, I've decided I'm gonna see if I can't make it just a tiny bit lighter than that one. So, it's kinda, of, I'm kinda of just brushing off, okay? And what I'm doing there is just like if you stamped off. So, I'm just, I'm changing it up. That's why I'm doing that, just to do something a little different. So, let's put that on there. And then I'm just gonna rub it, cause it's such a big, see what we get. kind of a winter scene there you can still see all the texture and the detail that's pretty cool you know what though because I'm gonna run a horse nope not like not loving it let's do it again let's go back see if you don't try you don't know but I'm not loving it and I'm gonna go back to the way I originally did it put it on there good thing we have two sides to every piece of paper set her down just rubbing it. Just that simple. Oh yeah, much better. See what I mean? All right, we'll clean those here in a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and bring in our uh, piercing mat because these are photopolymer. Let's turn this over like this. Like I said, we're going to run it this way. So if you get any like ink where I've stamped it, don't don't worry about that. Don't sweat the little stuff. It's all going to get covered up. Bring in some soft suede. We're going to do our tree base. So, remember this is clean and simple. So we're just moving on down the road. Let's do one here. You definitely want to use that uh, piercing mat though, because that's going to help you. I see where I get my inky rag here. I'm just going to kind of stagger them. I'm going to put one a little higher in the middle. Wiggle that, but that's okay. I'm not worrying about it. And last but not least, I'm going to put one over here just a little lower. Okay? All right. Got that done. Now let's grab our old olive. And this is the fullest of the tree, so I'm going to ink it up with my old olive, and I'm just going to line her up, 
kind of hard for me to see with the camera in the way, but I'm just going to line her up. Move it on. Pick it up again. Line her up. Move it on. One last time. Okay. All right. Now we've got the second layer, which believe it or not, looks like two different colors, but it's not. I'm just still using old olive. Stamp off. Come over here. Line it up best you can. If it's off a little, remember, fir trees are not all perfectly lined up. If you want it thicker, put a couple on there. But I'm stamping off for the second one every time. Be a little easier for you guys because you won't be. I think I'm gonna stamp right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little more right there. See, you've got the liberty to do what you want. And one down here too. I know those are for, because we've got some boughs, some balls, but you know what? I'm just going to add a little more color. All right. That's pretty. All right. Now let's grab. Let me get my key rag and clean that off real quick. Pull this off. And these are little ornaments. You can use these if you want. You don't have to, but I am. I'm going to go ahead and use them. Let's get this out of the way. Bring in some cherry cobbler. Now, if I used my... Uh, oh. Stamping platform. Then I could make these really dark. Because I could stamp them and go back and stamp them again. But I'm not going to do that. I just want this subtle. So, like I said, just stamp it and let's go. I am doing these not stamping off, so full strength. All right. Okay. And I've got a star, but I'm not putting a star on these. Yeah, I will. All right, let's grab our star. That comes with the set. So, let's see. And then this one, it's going to be off where you can just see the feet of the star on purpose. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad I did that. All right. Now let's grab our soft suede again. That's what I did my sentiment in. So this is my first time using the sentiment. Like I said, these are in the holiday catalog. I love the cursive writing on this one too. And I'm going to put that right about let's make sure I'm get this somewhat straight so there's a, there we go clean and simple give it some pressure let it absorb all right okay now let's get this out of the way here's where we add a little pizzazz what I decided to do was this is just um, some old olive and I'm just going to tear it. And just remember, when you tear something, you want to continue around in the same direction that you start, okay? And you want it to look jagged. But I started going this direction, and I need to continue going this direction. And I just cut this piece here... It's a uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. That way it gave me plenty of room to tear off just a smidge around the edge. And yet, because I want that border, but I, I, want, I want it just as an accent. 
So this is a way you can add you know, a little extra character to the card. Let's see how to do here. There we go. All right, let's grab us some snail. You know, I could always go back and do a little ink on the edges of that torn paper, but I'm just, today's clean and simple. All right. Pretty darn cute. Okay, don't overlook. Seasons Like Christmas in the Holiday Catalog. It's on my blog. I'll have a link to this set, and I love this watercolor wash. Uh, I'll be doing lots of things with that, but isn't that cool? And look how fast it was. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I'd love to be your gal. Make sure that you jump down into the description. Follow me on Facebook. I do Facebook Lives every Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock Central Time. And I'd love to see you there where we just kind of design as we go. And it's a total interactive. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.